Yeah. You know, these chairs have been through many ceremonies. I think this so is So they're infused you. with uh, stuff. <laughs> you. Do you want to your shoes on? Okay, Leah, why don't you It's, uh, Share your letter. N E V C L E M E N S at gmail.com. So it's Nev Clemens? Nev Clemens at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you. And his name's Neville. N E V I L L E. Thanks, Leah. Absolutely. Ask him about the Namahata. Namahata? N A M A. H A T T A. Okay. It means the marketplace of the holy name. <laughs> and they have a group that's like separate from the temple and all that that meets weekly, basically. Yeah, I would definitely like to contact them. Um, as I was saying, like there's there's really not many. There, there's nothing like this on the east or in the east that I've noticed. Mm -hmm. um, Especially around Harrisburg, it's really few and far between to find. And that's funny because there are tons of Indians in Pennsylvania. Yeah, no, there there absolutely are. Mm -hmm. And I I actually I know a few from school, obviously, and um, when I was in the military, mm -hmm. and just from a couple you know, couple different like jobs that I've worked. But they, I mean, they really were just more interested in going to college and just getting their degree and living yeah. the typical Western life. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, just to be able to, like, so I don't have to come to the West Coast every, every time I want to immerse myself. Yeah. Like yeah. If possible, sometime, I would definitely like to uh, come visit the, the temple in uh, the mountains of Mexico. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sarah and I are, are both interested, if possible. Yep, that's a great idea. Especially after we get our place in the woods. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really when things are going to pick up. Right now, we're stuck in the middle of the city, and it's it's not very nice, you know. It's right. really, the air is really bad, and there's it's noisy. <clears throat> yeah. Our neighbors across the street have like three dogs, and they bark day and night. Yeah. And um, you know, we're just we were just there to like establish the foundation of our preaching. Mm -hmm. And well, once we have a little money saved up, we're out of there, you know. I'm yeah. actually going to start looking <clears throat> already this spring, looking oh, for really? a place, yeah. And I'll probably move up there uh, even uh, before we let go of our house. You know? Yeah. I'll probably move up to the woods. Would you need, um, like, some volunteers to help move? Possibly? Um, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so cheap though in Mexico to get. Right. You know, get a, you, you rent a truck and you get some day laborers, and you know, just put everything in the okay. truck. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't. I don't want you to come down to work. I right. want you to come down to do sodden. Right. I would love that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. The, the moving part. I mean, that's really easy. Um, we're just moving from one That'll house to another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When the um, when the um, uh, when we move out to the woods, <clears throat> it's just going to be we're just going to be intense, you know, and very very simple life, as That's simple perfect. as possible. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be like the Rainbow Gathering. <laughs> Is that the gathering that would uh, gather at like Giza by the thousands? I don't know about Giza, but every year they gather in the U.S. in a, a federal park. Federal park, okay. Yeah, federal, like a forest, you know, okay, national forest. That's, that's not what I was imagining. Then. I think actually what I was uh, thinking of, um, the, uh, the pyramids of Giza might have been like the New Age movement, something like that. I'm not sure. I've never, never heard of that. Yeah, I mean, you're aware of the Theosophical Society. Well, that yeah. Moment, the Throne of the Basque. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not something I'm into. It's just that's something I definitely did hear about. With in 1987, they had hundreds of thousands of people. I think you know at uh, the Pyramids of Giza. I don't think they have that many members. Might not have been hundreds of thousands, but uh, I have I have some video footage of like the, this gathering. It was it was wild. Like oh. everyone was in togas or robes. <laughs> and it was 1987, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Uh huh. 
And, um, I almost know what you're talking about. It's like, yeah, I remember something about that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't think it was Rainbow. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe it would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Rainbow family is an entirely different thing. Yeah. You know, where it's it's a lot less formal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, so theosophical society, it may it may have started with good intentions, but it turned into another uh, dogma. It's always how it goes. Yeah. I mean, even even the Rainbow Gathering, you know, started out as a bunch of peaceful hippies, and mm -hmm. now it's becoming very political, and there's a lot of big drug dealers involved. Yeah, using it as cover, and, you know, it's just become really nasty. Yeah, that, that's always, and, and it also makes it very impersonal when you get to that point. Very impersonal. It, it seems like you're just, you know, another individual in a huge crowd then. Yeah. You know, it, it becomes very impersonal, which is why I, I really like this setting being like a small setting. It's, it's a lot more personal. Well, we want to keep it that way, too. We, we don't want to get too big, you know, right. with these things. I would much rather have a medium-sized gathering where we still have personal contact and then video it and distribute the video online. Because then you know that the quality is there at least. Yeah. I mean, w w when you try and, to me, like if you were to try and gather like 500 people in a, in a classroom, you might get the same amount of people as, as who was in this room actually truly understanding it. Uh -huh. and, and the rest might just take what they, what they need from it and be like, Oh, well, I think I'll live by this, but I don't know about going that far. Yeah. So, you think in uh, sometime in 2008, it should be, you should be out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're, do, we're going to be out there within a few months. Okay. I mean, we, we're, uh, <laughs> we're feeling that it's very important for us uh, to make a move, you know, this year. Okay. And at the same time, we're going to be expanding our preaching, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're going to be expanding in both ways simultaneously. And so. Did you move to Mexico? Well, we're already in Mexico, oh, okay. but we want to move from Mexico City out into the country. Uh huh. And we're looking for the location now. Uh, we've heard really good things about Palenque, so we're going to look in that area. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. um, what, well, what kind of visit would, um, would it entail, just so I, I know what like, my schedule should, should possibly be around? Well, we would, we would prefer that you come for at least a month. Right. And that means, um, we, you know, you'd be staying with us out in the woods, mm -hmm. bring, you know, bring your own gear, your camping gear. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, we'll have the kitchen set up and all that. But um, basically, it's going to be wilderness camping, um, probably, you know, three or four miles from the nearest road. We want to be back in far enough so that there's, you know, there's no, no disturbance at all. You know, people can't even see us. We're just right. going to be, just going to disappear. <laughs> Absolutely. And so uh, we'll be uh, getting up early, <clears throat> you know, bathing in the stream or lake where, where we are, and then uh, chanting in studying the scriptures and that's that's going to be about it that's perfect yeah chanting studying swimming and eating mm -hmm. <laughs> that's our main activities that's perfect <laughs> and then we uh we go back into town <clears throat> we're going to rent a house in the town mm -hmm. and so on the weekends we'll go back into town and do all our preaching on the internet and all that okay <clears throat> so we don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't have to have uh, electricity, you know, out there or anything like that. We can be strictly, strictly wilderness camping. And the only thing we really have to bring out is, is our food. Right. Once we settle out there. And, you know, it's easy to get three or four guys. <laughs> that thing is dangerous. Yeah, yeah we had two people hit the head on it yesterday. Yeah. Um, we have, you know, enough people, we have three or four guys to uh, haul our food up in one trip, you know, every week. So it should be pretty easy to maintain. Yeah, absolutely. That, yeah, that would be perfect. Um, yeah, I'll keep in contact with you because I, I would try and, like, uh, coordinate it with her to, if possible, come out together. Okay. Uh, well, for now, it's only going to be men. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, for now. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can set up, you know, like a separate area. I don't know what her schedule would be anyway. Um, 
So uh, yeah, I, I would probably be the one that would like be, be setting it up and me, me coming out. Obviously, it's going to be pretty austere. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't know if it's you know going to be really appropriate. Uh, okay. For ladies. No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> we, we do have a few ladies that that are in our group in Mexico, mm -hmm. but I think uh, how the way it's going to work out is that we um, they they'll take care of the house in town. Mm -hmm. They'll stay there, <clears throat> and then we can uh, we can um, you know just keep things kind of separate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'll definitely keep in touch about that. That would be great.